The James Webb Telescope has been roaming our solar system and beyond since 25th of December 2021. Its goal is to complement and extend the discoveries of the Hubble Space Telescope. With a 6.5-meter primary mirror, it is NASA's most prominent and currently the most powerful space telescope orbiting around the globe. Its purpose is to understand everything from the occurrence of Big Bang events like the formation of solar systems, capable of supporting life like our Earth, to the evolution of solar systems. It has been releasing photos of its discoveries as a series. Hence, this video is a continuation of that series. Let's look at them one by one. Welcome to the Theory of Science. We are back with another episode of JWST Discoveries. SMAX 0723, also known as Webb's first deep field. It is like a cluster of various galaxies. Webb compiled the bits and pieces of the shot in just 12.5 hours, which is relatively faster than its predecessor, Hubble Space Telescope which could have taken weeks to do the same work. Therefore, it shows how powerful this telescope is. SMAX 0723 covers a 2.4 arc minutes area, and one can clearly see galaxies upon galaxies in the photo. However, this massive cluster lies in the southern constellation Volans, or the Flying Fish, at a distance of 4.24 billion light-years. Hence, it is considered the most profound image taken by Webb. The galaxies lie behind the cluster and appear in the JWST as arcs of light around it. WASP-96b is a gas giant planet orbiting every 3.4 days around an 8 billion years old sun-like star, and is 1,120 light years away from the Earth. WASP stands for Wide Angle Search for Planet. It was discovered in 2013 under the WASP survey. But some features like the presence of clouds, haze, and water have not been observed at that time. Detecting water in its atmosphere will now persuade scientists to understand other exoplanets' atmospheres. The observation also reveals the presence of specific gas molecules based on tiny decreases in the brightness of precise colors of light. It is extremely hot, has a mass less than Jupiter, but more than Saturn, and is much puffier than any planet in our solar system. Studying anything full of clouds and thousands of light years away demonstrates the marvelous ability of the James Webb Space Telescope to analyze the atmosphere of exoplanets. Southern Ring Nebula is an expanding gas that surrounds a dying star. It is also known as Eight Burst Nebula, NGC 3132. In 2022, it became one of the first targets of NASA's JWST. The name Eight Burst Nebula comes from the nebula's appearance which resembles Figure 8 in some telescopes and has been nicknamed Southern Ring Nebula because of its resemblance to Ring Nebula in the northern constellation Lyra. From birth to death, Webb's telescope can capture every stage of a star. Stars similar to the size of our sun become white dwarfs once in life before dying. At this stage, the star periodically ejects mass in all directions, like a rotating sprinkler. That ejection is a visual material, which is why we can see such magnificent pictures. Today, this nebula is heating the gas in the inner region. Stefan's Quintet This is a compact group of five galaxies surrounded by dust, located in the constellation Pegasus. It covers about one-fifth of the Moon's diameter. Together, these five galaxies are known as Higson Compact Group 92, HCG 92. But Quintet when only four of the galaxies come close to each other and perform a cosmic dance. Among five, the three of the galaxies have distorted shapes elongated spiral arms, and long gaseous tidal tails, containing myriad star clusters, proof of their close encounters. The observation of these encounters will tell us how new stars are formed, when stars collide among themselves, and how gas in galaxies get disturbed due to these collisions. The JWST pierced through the nucleus's dust to reveal hot gas near the active black hole. The data from Webb will provide new information. For example, it will help scientists understand the rate at which supermassive black holes feed and grow. Carina Nebula Also known as NGC 3324, is a triangular region of dust and gas. The JWST NASA discovered a new area where the birth of stars take place in the universe, with much richer detail of the region. It is located 7,500 light-years from the Earth and is nicknamed as Cosmic Cliffs. It is like a nursery of several stars and some of them are even larger than our Sun. This discovery will help scientists to understand the formation of new stars better. In addition to this, scientists can also estimate the number of stars taking birth in a particular region. NGC 746 
The scientist has named it Bard Galaxy, which has spiral arms. It is located 24 million light years away and has bright clusters and bubbles that indicate the early stages of star formation on a large scale. The image shows the evidence of positive feedback, which compresses clouds and dust to form new stars with the help of a gravitational pull created by the energy in the nucleus and the negative feedback, which disperses molecular clouds and interrupts the formation of stars. Earlier, it had been hidden in darkness due to thick dust and gas. But now, infrared light peered through the dust and brought forth the process of formation of new stars and the marvelous nuclear fission occurring in their core. It is not a poster child galaxy, but it is still phenomenal. Webb is an infrared telescope, meaning it views light in the infrared spectrum. On Earth, we can feel infrared light as heat. This allows the instrument to see far more of the universe. Infrared has longer wavelengths than visible light. This phenomenon benefits us to see something that has been unseen since the formation of the universe.